Your brain, the cortic region of your brain, which is responsible for decision-making, attention, alertness, self-control, that sucker is still in a sleep cycle. And now that you're awake, it's gonna take the cortal region almost four hours to actually snap out of that sleep cycle. That's why you feel groggy. It's because the part of your brain that's responsible for critical thinking and being alert, it's actually still asleep. If you don't already do this, you've got to train yourself to be the kind of person that doesn't use the snooze alarm. Because when you hit the snooze alarm, you're not only putting your brain in a state of sleep inertia, you are directly impacting your productivity, your alertness, and your brain processing for the first four hours that you're awake. That's making life harder. I'm all about making life easier. So tomorrow, when the alarm goes off, I don't care how tired you are, I don't care how much you don't wanna get out of bed, I want you to remember this. I want you to remember that you've gotta wake up and give your brain its best shot to do its best work. And the way you're gonna do it Five, four, three, two, one, turn off that alarm and get up. Seize the day and go be productive. My morning routines are really detailed. Um, I get up and I hydrate. The second thing I do every morning is I do something cold, something cold. So whether that's I jump in the ocean, because now I live in the ocean, but in those days it was taking a cold shower or splashing some cold water in my face or walking out when it was cold. It shocks our nervous system, our fight or flight kicks in, we're in a cellular, electric alive state. I obviously do some prayer and meditation every single morning. I've still not touched my telephone. So there's a rule, there's 30 minutes I cannot touch my telephone when I wake up. That's the hardest thing to do in the world and the thing that could benefit you the most, because what's ever on that phone, you have to react to. And typically it's stuff that's not great. And so I don't touch that. I, I do my meditation and my prayer, and um, I do some stretching, I do some breathing exercises, and then at that point I allow myself to enter the world after I've got my state controlled. And I work out every morning, except for Sundays. I work out every morning. If you can find things to be grateful for in that space, man, is your life gonna be rich when there really are external things to be grateful for. So my first mechanism out of that space was honestly to stack the things I was grateful for and I started reinforcing it over and over and over again. And what happens is there's this reticular activating system in our brains, right? And all of a sudden, because that's the messaging I was giving myself, all of a sudden, all these things start to come into my awareness that I'm grateful for. I start to magnetize to myself some people that I needed to find into my life, and that was the next layer. I started to see things to be grateful for, my health, my fitness, people who loved me. And what it did is it changed my state. When I stacked gratitude, I changed what I did in the morning, and I changed what I did in the evening. And so somehow by grabbing control of my morning and by grabbing control of my evening, I got some measure of control over the middle of my day. I was an out of control person back in those days, meaning this, I woke up worried, stressed, fearful, and I immediately start thinking about a bill I had to pay, something that was wrong, and I'm in a state of reaction to begin every, I'm talking within six minutes of waking up, six seconds. Most people listening to this, that's what they do. I said, I gotta grab control of my morning, and I set up routines in my morning. Maybe they served me, maybe they didn't, but they were things I could deliver on doing for myself. And so not only did that give me control over the day, but I started to stack my self-confidence too. As soon as I wake up, I immediately try to think of something I'm grateful for, which everybody knows that and thinks about it, but I've, I play this game with myself on how far I can lower the bar, meaning I, I tried to do a gratitude journal about three years ago, and after about five weeks, I ran out of stuff to say. I'm not talking about a half hour gratitude meditation. I just need one little thing, or I pick up a book, if I'm reading one of the books that you have on the shelf, I'll pick and I'll just pick three sentences and read something empowering, and I'll get that state of mind from my brain. And then I think about one win I had the day before. Because I know as entrepreneurs, as somebody searching for success, we never give ourselves credit. We never treat a friend the way we treat ourselves. It's like, I know I've had days I've gone till 10 o'clock at night and go, man, I got nothing done today. It was the biggest lie. Like we beat ourselves up. We just were, were like these racehorses. We wouldn't even treat a racehorse that we owned as bad as we treat ourselves, right? So I wake up and I'll, I'll do a quick little gratitude and they'll say, what was one win yesterday that I accomplished? And I'm like, wow. You did do that yesterday, and then I'll think of one win I want to do that day. Like what, I'm gonna need a million things done today, but what's a must today that would be a great win? 